Let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction.com, at Direction Shares. Uh, their website, you can just, their direction is Direction. Dot com. It's D-I-R-E-X-I-O-N. If you're on our website right now at TFNN, very easy. Just hit that banner. Dave Mazda, how you doing? Doing well. Happy to be back here. Absolutely, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. We have all green. We get commodities running. Uh, we have a lot of different things that are happening in this market. You know what I'd love to talk about, Dave? We're coming up to, I mean, it's hard to believe, but guess what? We're going to be coming into 2022. And, you know, you've added so many... ETFs, that it's really cool that you can build a whole portfolio of them now. So can we talk a little about, a bit about your strategic ones and the thematic ones? Just, you know, because going forward, you know, people make, you know, basically, you know, writing down, what am I going to do in 2022? And, I, and this is a nice way that they can have a really broad market inside a portfolio. Yeah, no, happy to do so. I think, you know, Direction's uh, best known for our leverage and inverse ETFs, really uh, for tactical traders. And I know uh, a lot of fans of your show um, are big users of some of the products there. But we've all, we also have a lineup of strategic and thematic ETFs. And these are really intended to be longer term holdings, right? There's not leverage embedded in them. A great uh, ETF that's grown significantly this year is the ticker COM. And that's our, actually our commodity strategy ETF. But what I love about this particular fund, and I think traders of commodities can appreciate this, an ear of corn is extremely different than a bar of gold, right? Yes. The drivers and are, um, uh, are, are insanely different. Um, and it's, so it can be tough to own commodities for the long, for the long run. Totally. Um, but this particular fund uses a long or flat approach, meaning if a commodity is trending positively, its volatility profile looks attractive, the fund will actually be in that particular commodity. But if it's not, it will actually own cash. So it's a much more adaptive approach than traditional commodity strategies. So that, that fund I, I really recommend for investors looking for, especially when we're thinking about what 2022 looks like and the fact that let's, let, let's call a spade a spade. However you want to define uh, transitory, we know we've yeah. seen an uptick in inflation. And even if it's not, um, even if we're not going to be you know, seeing the, the prints that we've seen over the last few months, um, we have to know the reality that we, we, we're seeing pricing pressures and commodities can be a nice, attractive inflation hedge in portfolios. There's no doubt. And, you know, it, it, it's amazing to me that I don't know where these guys are living and these ladies are living, but there's no doubt that they're, they're not, you know, buying things. OK, um, listen, folks. OK. And now if you can just put this up for me for a second, I have what's inside the calm man that that. That is a nice arrangement of commodities, Dave. You know, because I can tell you flat out, I love the gold market, but I don't trade it in the futures market because the reality is, is that it's too volatile, man. Um, and, you know, when you look at this, you know, we're talking cotton, we're talking oil, we're talking sugar, we're talking wheat, we're talking uh, non-leaded gas, you're talking copper, you're talking uh, crude WTI and natural gas. Man, that's a nice mix, man. I, that's, yeah. And it, and. Yeah, because the volatility uh, in these futures markets have been uh, pretty intense, man. You know, gold's, gold's not bad, I, and I've traded gold plenty of times. But silver, you can't even touch, man. I mean, silver inside the futures market, you might as well just, I mean, forget it. It hit the roulette wheel or something. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it just doesn't work. It really doesn't. Um, yeah, exactly, which is why I think this particular strategy has, has been so attractive. We've seen a lot of inflows this year. Um, you know, the other area that we are um, actually seeing renewed interest again, even as more people are going back in their offices, is our work from home ETF, yes. which is purely a thematic ETF. And the reason being is if you look at the performance over the last year, uh, it's beating the S&P 500, beating the NASDAQ, because the names in this particular portfolio, they're cloud names, they're cyber names, they're collaboration names. So whether people are back in the office, hybrid models, or, or anything in between, that's where companies are spending money. They're spending money on upgrading their technology, upgrading their cloud stack, making their employees more efficient, um, as opposed to necessarily spending it on traditional property plan and equipment. So the, the name might actually be a bit of a misnomer at that, this point, because really what, what it's doing is uh, at the forefront of the digitization and changing of how people work, regardless of their location. So that's another fund that you know had a great run in 2022, 
we saw some outflows earlier this year, but now investors are reassessing, saying, hey, this is actually a source of potential outperformance. Right. And that symbol, folks, is uh, WFH. And there's no, there's no doubt, you know, I think all the, the, the uh, thought process have changed, Dave, okay? And I understand, you know, the bottom line is that, yeah, I mean, and I really think a lot of us are still going to be, you know, at home quite a bit. I mean, that's, that's the reality. And, and if you're, you're not, you're, you're getting set up differently. That, that's the reality. And, uh, you know, this is, this, is, <laughs> this is quite an equity also, folks, okay? If you take a look at this, if you're watching uh, Tiger TV, when you take a look and what's inside it. Um, great way to build a portfolio. That's the real bottom line. That's why I wanted to go over with our man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave, you have a great one, a safe one. And of course, we look forward to speaking here uh, two weeks from today. I think I'm going to get you before Thanksgiving. I will have to have a little tur turkey talk. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one, Dave. Thanks so much for the education. Appreciate it, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.